I think the toughest part was initially, everyone thought this was a three month thing. Um, and I think that was one of the most challenging aspects of dealing with COVID was trying to keep our team moving forward um, despite all of the uncertainty that was going on and really the almost daily changing landscape of what to expect next. We approach jobs in a very different way now. And part of that is understanding the importance of our project managers. Many of these jobs not only take a traditional PM, but now require a digital PM to help along the way. At the end of March, early of April, we were introduced to a client that we had worked previously um, at another company. And she had just moved over to this, um, this company and needed to work on their largest consumer event for the year. What was challenging for them is they had literally no experience in the virtual space whatsoever. They had no idea how to think about converting such a large physical event into a live streaming event. And one of the things that we got them to buy in on very early was the idea of, you know, utilizing high production value. Because at the end of the day, there were thousands of people who were going to tune into this. And if it wasn't great quality, if it wasn't engaging content, if it didn't didn't have all of those markers, you weren't going to get the metrics and the engagement that were needed. Initially, many customers thought that what they needed was a streaming platform, and that was the answer to their virtual event. And what they have come to realize, and, and certainly what we've come to realize, is that you need a really strong production partner. And this production that was being put on in, in Toronto by Starbucks uh, was the first big production where people could gather. So what we were able to do is we were able to create, because of the size and, and layout of the venue, we were able to actually create a drive-in experience that would launch at the exact same time as the walk-in experience. So that really gave us a chance to show the government, to show all of the health professionals out there that were looking very closely at this project, that it can be done. Yes, a live event still can happen, amidst a, a COVID pandemic, you know, providing it was done properly. You know, it's uh, it's it's emotional in a sense because, you know, our industry has been shut down. And this was the first show to come back in Toronto to allow people to sort of see live big images again, to to hear, to feel, to, to be uh, in a room where, you know, you can hear somebody go, ooh, wow, that was great. We're production people and we're focused on solving problems for our customers. Um, and so, we got to work on figuring out how can we make things happen for you.